with our mobile app, we're going to get a 360 degree image into the mobile app screen with Flutter. The objective is to get either a full screen on the mobile app or a container here, which you can place anywhere on the screen. To achieve this, we're going to use the Panorama package, pub.dev packages Panorama. We're going to install it into a brand new Flutter app and get it running. To get started, I'm going to create a new Flutter application for the repo theta images that we're going to host here. Initially, you'll have the, the sample Flutter app that comes by default when you first create a project. We're going to pare it down quite a bit. So let's just use a stateless widget. So I'm going to delete everything under here. It's much shorter already. Let's get rid of the comment. This thing. And we'll convert this to a scaffold. Initially, we just have a completely blank screen on mobile app. make the background and the default theme dark, uh, make it a little easier on the eyes. I'll put that the app bar. Add the body in after the app bar. So I already uploaded an image to Imager. So I'm going to use the URL from the, um, the file that I just put onto Imager. This is just a network URL. So this is an image, it's actually from a Rico Theta V that we're going to be working with as part of the panorama. And to actually use the panorama, we first need to important. So we're going to convert this same image into a panorama image. So on the pub.dev, we got the dependencies here. We're going to copy this and drop it into our pubspec.yaml. Right here under dependencies.
automatically running a Flutter pub get. Once it's finished, go back to main.dart, go to the top of the file, and we need to import it here. So according to the doc on installing, we just import the, the package name. So we have it in, we're not using it yet. I've got my column. Let's see whether this works. I'll move it up to the, to the column. So I had to run flutter pub get again. And once that took place, then I, I do have the, the panorama here. And it is coming over from the network and it's uh, coming from a URL here. So I think I still have the theta connected. So I have the camera connected over Wi-Fi. And this is the URL of the of the theta. So I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to drop it in here. I'll comment this out. I'm going to try to actually pull it from the camera. I'll take a picture with the API. They okay, took the picture. I'm going to check the state of the camera. Capture style is idle. This is the new URL. It should be the URL of the last picture which is at my desk. Let me drop it in here. I'll restart the camera of the mobile app. That's in the file over. And this is what it is when we're working. That's me and my test equipment. In the previous tutorial, we created a simple mobile app that where you could uh, take a picture and then grab the, the last image that was taken, which is actually this view since I just grabbed the last image. And you'll see the quick rectangular view. But let's see if we can make this into a panorama. There might be some uh, masking errors, but we can get pretty far with this. So first thing I'm going to do is wrap it within a container. I've already modified the pubspec.yaml so that I've, I have the panorama that we need here, this package in pubspec.yaml. And I've also imported it into my main dot, dot file. This is the file from the previous tutorial. So we should be set up right here to use 
panorama and let's get to the section where it's displaying the image. The image is right here. So I'm going to wrap with widget. I'm going to wrap it with um, panorama. Okay, then I'm going to wrap panorama in a container so that it takes up a reasonable amount of space. So I'll wrap it with container and I'll set the height as 200. Let's see what we got here. So I'll save it and then I'm going to re hot restart the, the app here. So performing a hot restart. So you can see that uh, th there's some masking issues here, which I need to take care of. But you can get the Panorama app in pretty easily. And, and now you could take a picture and then display the image in a Panorama. We're going to have to mask this area out. Okay, so the way to mask it out is there's probably a lot of different ways to do it. What I did for this one is to create a, a stat drawing here. So you have a, I'm using stack, and within the stack children, I have the uh, panorama right here. And then below that, I set up another, uh, another stack that has a size and uh, for, the, for the border so that it blocks it out. So that's one, one, that's one way to handle this. Uh, it's just a design issue. Um, so you're basically just creating boxes around this to hide the jagged edges. And there's probably a better way to do it, but this way will work. So hopefully you'll be able to build some nice mobile apps for the Rico Theta and let us know what you create. Thanks.